I think for me, one of my biggest um, growths has come in acceptance, in a sense. Um, and for me, knowing it's probably not going to be that kind of season. Um, you know, like I always say, my goal is always going to be my goal. And I don't feel like I'm ever going to fall short of it. Uh, and I think, like I said, learning acceptance. Um, so you set new goals, you know, watching Jordan's documentary, having game within a game, you know, working on a, a release during a run game or uh, working something else. A new goal, uh, aside from winning, always Nick Chubb needs to be the number one rusher in the league. Like it just – or Kareem, I mean, or Kareem too as well. You know, you got two legitimate number one backs in the backfield. And our team is very, very, very good at running the football. So – you have to play to your strength. We have a lot of unselfish guys in this building, and that's what it's going to take when you got a lot of um, Pro Bowl caliber players on one team um, to be unselfish um, and understand that when the ball comes your way, just take advantage of opportunities, whether it be you know few or many. Um, and I think that the guys in this building recognize that and, 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 are, and are aware of that. And then I think you learn where you fit in and, and where you're able to make your plays and how you can help the team. I tell Chubb every day, fuck, I owe you, I owe you, I owe you. I, I want that, that big block that springs him free um, just to see him running down the field, even though he's not going to give me any love after. He's not going to have much emotion about it. But just, just to see him running free and down the sideline is going to be a great feeling. So I think um, a lot of my growth came in acceptance, acceptance of life, acceptance of things, uh, and just knowing that that's what it's going to be and finding a way to create that block that springs him or – whatever it is to you know, help us win.